Hey guys, recently a weirdly high number of you guys have been asking me how I do my hair and to create a video like this to show you guys my hair routine. So that's what I'm going to do today. If you're a guy with short hair, feel free to copy my hairstyle. If not, I hope you just enjoy getting a sneak peek into my daily hair routine. So let's do this. Okay, so just got out of the shower. As you can see, it is a complete mess. This is what I have to deal with. Um, I do have very straight hair, so it goes completely straight like this. As you probably know from my videos, I kind of do my hair in different ways sometimes. Sometimes I wear it like completely up, sometimes straight down, sometimes to the side. I still style it like all the same, just the only things that I change is the direction that I blow dry it in and also the way that I just actually finish it with the final product. So first things first, I'm just going to brush it a bit. Um, my hair's pretty short so it doesn't make a lot of difference. So I have a very flat hair. I have to get lots of volume in my hair, so one of the things I do is just use some mousse like this, use a decent amount. Um, as for like whether I buy brands or cheap stuff, um, for the mousse and also for like the shampoo, I don't really care what I buy, um, especially shampoo. Or, like I use the cheap stuff all the time. I don't find it makes any difference for me. If you've got really long hair, maybe it does, but um, not for me. So anyway, yeah, let's just mix the mousse in the hands. Oops, try not to get it on the carpet and then just put it into my hair like this. Moosey moose, it all disappears. Now I blow dry it. <laughs> For me this is very important because I've got such flat hair. Um, I do have to like get as much volume in it as I can. So today I'm gonna go for the fringe look that I've been doing recently. And so yeah, I just, I don't blow dry the fringe up. I kind of just keep it down like this. But um, for the rest of it I do do it up a little bit to get some volume in. I do it on the low setting and the high heat. The back and the sides of my hair sticks out so much because I've got such straight hair. So one of the things I do is just sort of blow dry them down to make sure they don't stick up too much. As you can see, I've got like super duper straight hair. So one of the things that I sometimes do, that I'll probably do now, is add a little bit of curl in it with the brush and the hairdryer. So that's that done. As you can also see, I have very, very fluffy hair, which is kind of a bit annoying. Um, so one of the things I do for that, this is already looking quite good, if I say so myself. Maybe I should just leave it there. What do you think? I feel like right now it looks better on camera than it does actually in real life. I'd never really leave it fluffy like this, um, mostly because when you go outside and the wind blows, it just goes like that and crazy. So next step, I use this texturizing, volumizing powder stuff. Um, again, like, I don't buy any brand. This was an annoyingly expensive one. I usually just buy the cheapest one I can um, because it doesn't make much difference. But yeah, just put this powder in my hair. As you'll see, it will start to lose its fluffiness. And you can see like it's losing the fluffiness and it's kind of giving it some volume and making it all stick together, which is just how I like it. So there's that done. Now we're almost getting there. So now I actually use two different things to create the style and stick it all together and mold it and stuff. Uh, this one's just from the supermarket. Um, it's just a kind of average matte clay stuff. And this I had to buy online. Um, I found it in America and it gives a really good hold so I like this stuff. So I mix those two together. Not too much of that one and not too much of that one either. So then I just kind of mix it in my palm, mix it all together. This is one of the tricks that I was told is you have to mix it into your hands really well before you put it on your hair. So mix, 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 mix. And then basically I just kind of gradually start to work it in. Um, I have to try and get it right down to the roots. So to, that, to do that I kind of just get my fingers in there and get it right into the roots. Hopefully even if you don't have boy hair like me this will still be interesting somehow. So many people requested it. But yeah, so I'm just kind of getting it right in there. All the way in. 
If you don't do this, then it just kind of sits on top and doesn't work as well. So now it's definitely all in there. I can start to just shape it how I like it. So as I say, this time I'm going to have the fringe down. So I'm just kind of put a load of volume in it, but now I'm kind of just flattening it out again a little bit to make it look normal and presentable. And there we go. I just finished it in the mirror because it's kind of hard to see it all uh, looking into my camera viewfinder. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, I do also use just a touch of hairspray just to make sure it stays in position throughout the day. If I do a quiff style then I'll probably put a bit more in just to make sure it holds and stays up throughout the day but just for this is just to make sure that it doesn't move about and change position. I tend to just kind of get a strongish hairspray um, and vary the brand. This one actually got given free randomly. I think the hairspray brand is kind of important. You want to get a decent one, not just like the cheapest one in the supermarket, as otherwise it won't hold the look all day. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully some of you found it useful, the people that were requesting it so much. I do have pretty unique hair, I think, in that it's so straight and so fluffy. So I don't know if many people will have the same kind of hair and if it worked the same for you. But either way, I hope you enjoyed it and getting to see my little morning hair routine. And yeah, thanks very much for watching. If you'd like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, comment below with which hairstyle you prefer on me the best. Do you like it down and kind of to the side like this, or do you like it straight up? Let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.